Well, analysts say with so many slow selling cars, General Motors can't afford to keep all of their factories operating without making some tough decisions. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuting is looking into what that means for GM Lordstown. He joins us live with what he's learned. Molly, since the beginning of the year, we've seen this huge facility in Lordstown reduced from operating pretty much round the clock, three shifts a day, down to just one shift. And with that, close to 3,000 jobs lost. Now, some who watch over the auto industry say this is actually one of five plants that General Motors has in the system with overcapacity and soft selling cars, thinking that at some point GM executives are going to have to decide what to do with these plants. One possible scenario would be to close at least one of those five, possibly Lordstown, move what's made at those plants that could be closed somewhere else, perhaps even out of the country. We've been talking this morning with local lawmakers on what they can do to convince General Motors to change its mind about what happens here and whether or not the president, who likes to tweet about things that are on his mind and has already done so with the likes of Harley Davidson and Whirlpool, whether he should be brought into this equation to speak his own mind to GM Chairman Mary Barra. We'll hear from those lawmakers coming up later today on First News at 5 and 6. For now, live in Lordstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.